a disease that affects everybody, and I, I would venture to say that most people that are here with us now have either had their own personal experience with it, or have a family member that has personally experienced it. So this is a, this is a condition that affects everybody, doctors, lawyers, judges, professionals, counselors, um, most, a lot of our licensed chemical dependency counselors, they themselves were at one point addicted. How long have you been taking oxycodone? Um, for about, about three days. I didn't think at first that I had a problem. Um, it went from having a good time on Friday nights to having a good time on Fridays and Saturdays and then carrying all the way through from Monday to Sunday. Um, had a car, had a house, had a girlfriend, lose everything, and everything gets stripped away from you. That's when you really realize you have a problem, when you lose everything. Uh, I know about people uh, dying of this addiction, and I know people that are in recovery that have gotten out of the addiction. Okay, my brother died of an overdose uh, 18 years ago, uh, and my current husband is in recovery 18 years, and I'm clean, been, been clean and sober for 21 years. I was an addict for a long time. I didn't live in the ghetto, had a dang good job, did everything everybody was supposed to, had a perfect job. The reason I'm here today is because of the programs that are here. The programs helped me get past mine. Addiction, on the other hand, that's another word. So the Prevention Resource Center convened a regional task force for Region 10, which includes El Paso, Texas, and we're here today as part of an initiative and a campaign to rise up against prescription medication misuse. A lot of individuals believe that all you gotta do is just decide not to do it and don't do it anymore. That simple. And if we get you to stop, if we detox you and we get you to stop, then just don't start up again. But they don't realize that it's much more than just detoxing off of it. It's much more than just choosing not to do it. There's a lot of treatment that needs to be involved with it. It's a chronic condition that needs to be treated with counseling. But, you know, there's, all, there's alternatives as well. There's not just one way to help a person. There's a whole toolbox of different methods that can be utilized to help these individuals. We can all come together, and that's what we're doing in this task force, coming together and increasing awareness of what it is, what the problem is, changing those behaviors for when it hits hard. We know, parents know, uh, children know. Uh, to make the right choices. Education is very important. No matter what there is, no matter what it is, addiction or not, education is always gonna be the key to, to uh, success. Please lock up your meds. Please lock up your medication. Any prescriptions that you are currently taking, lock them up in a lockbox, in a toolbox. Uh, we currently uh, pass out for free uh, medical bags that have combinations on them and they can hide those so that their young ones and their teenagers don't get access to them. And they need to also rise up to the challenge of tackling this issue. This issue is a community response to prescription medication misuse and it's not just a task force, we're trying to get the community involved. The old way has to be changed. It has to be the community, it has to be the programs that are inside the community. I love what I do. I will do it till I die. I've got some great people that I owe why I'm here. And I'm gonna to prove to myself first, and then to prove to them that we can change.